while thinking about conservation, we started, you know, to a kind of an effort to understand what do we mean by conservation. And then we started looking at farmers and uh, we found it meaningful way of perceiving conservation is understanding what farmers do. Why not follow the farmer's model, if you like, which is conserving through use? That's what farmers did all the time. They promoted diversity because they had a wide range of criteria of selection owing to their diverse needs. Here we are sitting on a gold mine and crying for food. And the potential for it is there. All we have to do is get busy. You know, he saw the gene bank as an institute that should also be serving farmers and should be, you know, accessible to farmers. Community, uh, community gene bank is a, is a gene bank of the community of the people, of their own seat. And at the same time, it is very close, no bureaucracy. Anything that's kept in a store, it has had its biological processes put on hold. But in the hands of farmers, what they take and sow this year, and then they harvest, and then they sow next year, they're never, never absolutely equivalent. Both for the purpose of conservation and for the purpose of production, to create new varieties, he needed to work with the farmers. He could not be in isolation of the field. So he started experimenting with this. And he was pretty much the only one in the world at that moment who was doing this. He couldn't draw much on previous experiences or experiments. He just had to basically do it on his own. In situ conservation, even as a scientific strategy, is building on the farmer's knowledge, what they have been doing from their time tested experience. So it's also built, even if it's a scientific methodology now, it's built on farmer's knowledge and practices. It's um, work with what you got, um, uh, make sure what you've got is stored safely. Make sure you don't lose any of the diversity because even if you don't need that kind of plant, that kind of sorghum variety or that kind of, of uh, teff this year, you might need it three years from now or five years from now, so don't lose it. And uh, document what you've got in the bank and how it can be used. Um, it, it's moved, of course, beyond just community seed banking uh, to community plant breeding. And now the, 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 that what, what was it has been done by farmers, of course, again for 12,000 years, where Malaku always reminds us this isn't new. Uh, but it's moved from being sort of something which was not much talked about and not believed uh, in, in Western science to where now I think it's, it's become almost a cause celeb. So in United, United Nations meetings, and these are the Food and Agriculture Organization in Rome, uh, everyone talks about participatory plant breeding. They talk about the need to, to have farmers doing their own plant breeding. And that, a lot of that stuff really comes from uh, a scientist like Malaku giving it the spotlight and the credibility that, that only he could give.